before we actually get inside, outside is something that you should consider first up. Over the winter, your house gets grimy and often just covered in dirt that you don't even notice. So here's a simple tip. Start with warm soapy water and consider washing down things like light fixtures, even the front door, and also just use a hose to hose down the house. And I promise, just those simple things will really make the outside of your house sparkle. Hey, so this is our favorite room in the house. We have a 10 minute run around rule at the end of every day. That means we charge around, making sure that things are put away, the cushions look good, the blankets are back in place, any magazines are put away, so that tomorrow, the new day, this looks really fresh and new. Cleaning ceiling fans is usually hugely neglected when it comes to spring cleaning. So here's a really simple solution. Place the pillowcase over the blade of the fan and then with your hand on the top of the blade, pull the pillowcase back and with it comes all of the dirt from the blade. Do each of the blades and then with some warm soapy water, give it a wipe down and you've got a sparkling new ceiling fan. So as we come out of hibernation and into spring, it's a great time to clean the fabric of our chairs and lounges. Now, anywhere you find cleaning product, you can find items that will help you spot clean the fabric. It's a really simple thing to do. I'm a huge fan of using plastic storage bins. Now, the reason I love these is, first of all, you can easily see what's in them. Secondly, they have handles, so you can carry them pretty much anywhere. And also, they stack beautifully so that they can easily maximize the space in your storage cabinets. In our house, we have two drawers of dish towel. The first drawer really has the better dish towels, which are used for everyday use and look great when they're out. The second drawer has the dish towels that are old, soiled, maybe even a little ripped. And these are great for mopping up spills or for general cleanup. And as soon as you've used them, straight into the washing machine. Finding storage space for different larger items in your kitchen can be tough. We have vertical dividers or large platters that are used regularly but infrequently. Also close to the prep area, we have storage for baking pans and also for cutting boards that easily have a home. I love to use these heavy duty metal pull-out racks. It's great to store these guys at waist height so that they're easy to get out and to put away without straining your back. At least once a week, you should vacuum your carpets and twice a year, I use a fairly inexpensive steam cleaner and you'll be amazed at the sparkling difference. In our house, we have king-size beds and queen-size beds and only white linen. So to keep track of those, I have drawers that are labeled either queen or king. The way I also keep track of the pieces is I write on them in an inconspicuous place, either a K or a queen, and the linen no longer gets mixed up. If your bath mats need a little bit of attention, today's the day to roll them up, get them in the washing machine, and make sure that they're just as clean and pristine as your bath towel. Small things done every day can really keep your house spick and span.